15 fastest Pokemon ranked. The Pokemon franchise is well known for its collection of powerful creatures but strength alone is not always the best solution. In fact the speed stat can consistently determine the outcome of some battles and depending on how the conflict is set a weaker creature can defeat a stronger one simply because it is swifter. Not every Pokemon is quick on their feet, or wings or fins, but a truly fast Pokemon can be a massive asset to any team especially those that are intent on winning. Having a speedy Pokemon is a bit of a luxury as the player with the quickest creature is always destined to go first on every turn during a battle. Among the large conglomerate of quick and agile Pokemon are some that can move at outrageously high speeds. These creatures can move so fast that some don't even need agility to go first. The pocket monsters with the highest base speed stats in the games are a fine mix of regular creatures notable legendaries and some of the best mega evolutions in Pokemon. Over the course of seven generations of Pokemon the series has produced dozens of legendary beasts. Here's our definitive ranking of the 16 best. The popular mythical creature from Generation 7 games Zeraura is one of the Pokemon with the highest base speed stat among the over 1000 monsters currently available. In fact Zeraura is well known for its swiftness with that being mentioned in its Pokédex entries. In Ultra Moon Zeraura is said to approach its opponents at the speed of lightning. When it comes to stats Zeraura reaches an impressive 143 base speed with the capacity to increase this even further through training. Getting hold of Zeraura in games is quite difficult however as this swift creature has only ever been made available through special and limited time events. Despite its rarity Zeraura is a fan favorite mythical creature and has even starred in its own film called Pokemon the Movie, The Power of Us. The electric type pocket monster is not usable in Gen 9 games but it remains one of the quickest creatures around. Living up to its reputation as a ninja-like creature Axelgore is one of the fastest Pokemon available right now. The Gen 5 bug type creature has an impressive base speed stat of 145 which can be enhanced even further with proper training. Even with its other stats faltering a bit in potential Axelgore is highly used in matches due to its swiftness on the field often allowing it to strike first and grant the trainer the upper hand. Its status as a regular Pokemon is also beneficial to some competitive modes that do not permit rare creatures like legendaries or mythicals. Axelgore is unobtainable in the Scarlet and Violet games though its future in Gen 9 is uncertain as a few more titles have yet to be released. If Axelgore is featured in upcoming releases then it is very likely it will return to the competitive scenario once again. While Sceptile itself is already a pretty quick creature its mega evolution Mega Sceptile is one of the fastest Pokemon in the franchise. When Mega evolved this dual grass and dragon type Pokemon has a base speed stat of 145 often allowing it to strike first. Not only does Mega Sceptile move quickly but it also hits pretty hard when using special attacks. This is because of Mega Sceptile's impressive 145 base special attack stat. Combining agility with raw firepower Mega Sceptile can be a great pick for teams where Mega Evolutions are permitted like Pokemon Go and possibly the upcoming release of Pokemon Legends, ZA which has already teased the return of the fan favorite gameplay mechanic. Mega Sceptile is also a beloved Pokemon in the series which makes its swiftness just another reason for trainers to use it in battle. Another very swift creature that shares the 145 base speed stat with Axelgore and Mega Sceptile is Mega Beedrill. The Mega evolved form of the Gen 1 bug and poison type gets a huge bump to its stat, for reference regular Beedrill has a base speed stat of 75. Like Mega Sceptile Mega Beedrill can also be a powerhouse combined with its agility. The bug and poison type Mega Evolution has a whopping base attack stat of 150. With such a power it can deal devastating physical attacks, and some that can usually hit first thanks to Mega Drill's high speed stat. It is worth remembering that it can be trained to become even faster in battle and with the prospect of the return of Mega Evolutions to the main series with the upcoming arrival of Pokemon Legends, ZA using Mega Beedrill in battle seems like a worthwhile effort. The legendary mascot of Pokemon Swordsation is one of the swiftest creatures in the series notably when it is equipped with the rusted sword which transforms it into its crowned sword form. 
when in this form Zacian has a base speed stat of 148 making it extremely agile in combat, comparatively its regular form hero of many battles has a base speed stat of 138. While its agility is not translated into its Pokédex entries it is noticeable through the animation of its signature move Behemoth Blade. When executing this move Zacian moves quickly dealing a massive blow to the opponent. Zacian is a lot quicker than its Pokemon Shield legendary counterparts Amazenta which takes on the role of a tank as opposed to an offensive striker. While not allowed in every format having Zacian in battles is fun due to its status as a legendary and how effective it can be when starting a battle. Kalyrex can morph into two different forms with the reins of unity becoming either Ice Rider Kalyrex or Shadow Rider Kalyrex. Whereas Ice Rider is more of a tank Shadow Rider Kalyrex ranks among the fastest Pokemon around. In addition to being a very speedy Pokemon with an impressive 150 base speed stat Shadow Rider Kalyrex is also extremely powerful thanks to its 165 special attack stat. It can spam its signature move Astral Barrage at free will and it comes with no drawbacks. In terms of stab Shadow Rider Kalyrex has one of the best Pokemon type combinations with its dual ghost and psychic type typing. Overall Shadow Rider Kalyrex is a powerhouse to be dealt with that when used in battle tramples over opponents with its speed and might, though its legendary status may impede it from being used in certain formats. Mega Evolution gives Aerodactyl a moderate speed boost improving his overall speed from 130 to a whopping 150. Combined with additional boosts to its attack and defenses this fossil type Pokemon becomes a valuable asset with a wide bevy of moves. Because of its high speed Mega Aerodactyl can bust out powerful moves such as Stone Edge and Earthquake before its opponent can even get a chance to strike. The Tough Claws ability only makes Mega Aerodactyl's moves even stronger which is a plus given the range that the fossil Pokemon has in its moveset. As the Mega Evolution cited before it the prospect of its possible return in the next Gen 9 game is exciting especially for players keen on winning matches without relying solely on brutish firepower and instead opting for tactical agility. While it's not the speed form this base form of Deoxys is still pretty fast with a starting base speed of 150. It's still frail on the defensive end and can't take too many hits but all that can be forgiven thanks to Deoxys immense power and swiftness. Even in its normal form which is a perfect balance of stats compared to its other forms Deoxys is a reliable Pokemon in battles. Normal for me Deoxys isn't the best form of the Deoxys as the DNA Pokemon's three other forms are seen as superior, simply because its stat alignments make it more of a specialist depending on whether players want an offensive striker a tank or a swifter support. However that isn't to say that this base form of Deoxys isn't useless as its speed helps it be a major hand in support. It's not often that fans see a legendary Pokemon with putrid defenses. Attack for me Deoxys' special defense is tied for worst among all Pokemon and its physical defense is only better than a handful of Pokemon such as Picosmuchum and Happiny, all of whom are baby Pokemon. That said however attack for me Deoxys is still a very quick Pokemon with a speed stat of 150 which matches that of its normal form. Combine that with its high physical and special attack and a deep move pool and attack for me Deoxys makes for one great glass cannon if put in the right hands. It is worth noting that it should not withstand longer fights that require more investment but having it strike first due to its agility and heavily due to its offensive stats should be just enough for it to play its part in Pokemon battles. Alakazam is already a speedy Pokemon in its natural form with a very high base speed stat of 120. When it Mega evolves into Mega Alakazam however its speed grows to a whopping 150, making it faster than other speedy special attackers such as Gengar and even Mewtwo. Mega Alakazam's high speed makes it perfect for pulling off a sweep near the end of the battle with a plethora of strong moves allowing it to knock out Pokemon effortlessly. The last thing anyone would want to face near the match's end is a Mega Alakazam unleashing a future sight. The best part of it is that it is bound to possibly make a comeback with Pokemon Legends, ZA and the possible return of the Mega Evolution mechanic to the core games which have been absent for years now. Electrode is pretty average across the board but there's no denying that it's a very fast Pokemon with its 150 base speed stat. 
This impressive base speed is shared with its Hiswayan counterpart also known as Hiswayan Electrode. Being one of the few electric type Pokemon to know both reflect and light screen Electrode is an effective dual screener. Aside from setting up defensive measures for the team Electrode is also capable of using taunt to prevent the status moves of opposing Pokemon. It can volt switch out of any situation when the time calls for it and in desperate measures unleash an explosion to take out the opposition. Hiswayan Electrode plays a little bit differently due to its dual electric and grass type typing but its quick effectiveness in battle is the same as the one provided by the classic Gen 1 creature. Pheromosa is a brittle being compared to the other Ultra Beasts in Pokemon. Both its defenses are poor and thanks to its bug and fighting type combination any powerful fire fairy psychic or even flying type move would make this lithe Pokemon down for the count. Pheromosa's best trait among the Ultra Beasts however is its speed, having a base speed stat of 151. Knocking out a Pokemon with a move like High Jump Kick or Bug Buzz activates the Beast Boost ability which only raises Pheromosa's speed after every Pokemon is defeated. Like attack form Deoxys Pheromosa is Glass Cannon but if it is used correctly it can help the player start the battle with a massive advantage or even finish off the opponent and all of this is due to its agile form in the Pokemon series. Ever since its introduction back in the Gen 3 games Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire Ninjask has always been one of the fastest Pokemon on the block. In fact the bug and flying type Pokemon endured the test of time and even after several other generations of games it remains in the top 3 quickest Pokemon in the series. It can work as a pivot with U-turn or be a revenge killer after boosting its attack with a swords dance. As if its 160 base speed stat isn't threatening enough ninjas can boost its speed to unfathomable heights with its speed boost ability. Speed boosts raises Ninjisk's already high speed by one stage which makes moves like Protect come in handy. It's an ability that certainly makes up for Ninjisk's other middling stats which are understandably lower. Just as the name implies speed for me Deoxys is the fastest out of all of Deoxys's four forms with a blazing base speed stat of 180. Its bulk for the most part is fairly solid although it's not the offensive threat that base form and speed form Deoxys are. Where speed for me Deoxys makes its bread and butter is being a utility Pokemon. In a sense the swiftest of all Deoxys forms is actually a support unit especially for double battles. Stealth Rock Taunt and Magic Coat are just some of the support moves that the DNA Pokemon can use at the start of a battle and properly set up a defensive stage for the other Pokemon that will later enter the arena. Because of just how fast it is speed for me Deoxys is arguably the best lead Pokemon one can have. Regilicky was introduced in Gen 8 as one of the new legendary titans alongside staples in the series like Regis Regirock Regis Teal and Regigigas. It is by far the fastest Pokemon to have ever existed. Having a whopping base speed stat of 200 means that this Electron Pokemon is guaranteed to go fast no matter what, unless their opponent has a priority move up their sleeve or if they've trained their companion to a stat higher than that of Regilicky. If that isn't enough Regilicky also has the unique ability Transistor which multiplies the attack of any electric type move by 1.5. Anyone facing this Pokemon ought to be wary of a Thunderbolt and an occasional Volt Switch. This swift attacker is one of the best damage dealers in the Pokemon series and a lot of that is thanks to how quickly it can act on the field. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. Pokemon's Generation 10 games have a lot of potential and the inclusion of one key feature would be sure to make them the best games yet. The Xbox 360 online store will be ceasing operations on July 29, which is sad news for longtime Xbox fans but with a substantial silver lining. Hellblade 2 is a mind-bending game that distorts reality through much of the playthrough which leads to a somewhat confusing end to the narrative. Having been available for PC via the Epic Games Store for three years Square Enix's Kingdom Hearts series makes the jump to a different storefront. A new cozy restaurant management game is coming to Xbox Game Pass upon its launch on June 4. Xbox Game Pass subscriptions could be changing with the inclusion of Call of Duty according to an industry insider. 
Pierre's General Store is always closed on Wednesdays and the Stardew Valley Cookbook gives players a surprising explanation for this odd schedule.